I'm about to go ahead and start preparing your breakfast, champ. Feeling good right now. I'm just getting my body woke up, getting ready to, you know, get it in grind every day. You got your days you wake up, you're tired, you're cramping, you know. It's days like you fighting yourself sometimes, really, but I'll make it happen. It only be like the first week, week and a half, I'll be like super sore, don't want to get out the bed. But after that, my body starts to adjust and I'm I'm ready, like I'm ready to work out. After a while, you start to like it. So once you wake up in the morning, you be looking for the workout. On, on the normal training day, like the day, beautiful sunshine, and we know it's gonna be nice out. We definitely like to get out there and get to running. And then he get he get with his strength trainer, Lorenzo. Lorenzo gets with him in the evening and and also in the morning. He gets with him in the morning, gets his running and and everything. Day is supposed to be nice, so uh, we definitely gonna take advantage of that sun because. It's Michigan, and uh, it could be snowing an hour later, so <laughs> we, we, we take advantage of it. The sun come out, <laughs> and we go to another level, get that good vitamin D in. I like to eat in the morning before I start working out, because uh, to me, you got to put something in your body to get fuel, so I'll be, after I eat, like 30 minutes later, I'll be great, I'll be energized, I'll be ready to work out, you know, I won't be sluggish or nothing like that, tired, you know, I'll be good. Man, how, you you, how you see you and the uh, the boy who Kanaki? Kanaki, babyface assassin. He I, I he, think. he never stopped punching. I, I see what I see what make him so successful is that he never stopped punching. It's not that he got skills, but uh, when a guy's consistent, I think I can beat Kanaki because Kanaki just comes straight forward. He, yeah, he punched, but shit, I could punch too. And if if that's all you could do is come forward, then no you time. can't. You know what I'm saying? You only offensive. I could just turn your style against you. Mm -hmm. Easy, and he gonna tire out about the sixth round anyway. Be, 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 because be, because he's punching, but but he don't really have a real mission. Now all them heavyweights like that though. AJ like that too. AJ can punch, but he gonna be tired about six seven rounds. He threw. He ain't got the same. It ain't like that no more because he done punched himself off. Joshua. Mm hmm. All them do the same. You doing? I'm doing good. <laughs> good morning, Queen. How you doing? You looking beautiful. <laughs> He is my little helper. You know, he do little things around here that I can't do for myself. I think he love what he doing. He puts a lot of time and effort in it. Well, you keep on doing like you're doing. Actually, he already the champion. We just waiting for appropriate time to get our belts. <laughs> we letting, we letting them hold it for a while, huh? He's been calling me champ since I've been a kid. Like, we always felt like we, we was champions. We, we come prepared, we don't lose. Regardless of anything else, we champions at heart. That's how we feel. What you need? That's pull Maserati or the Rose out for this. I ain't, I ain't, you know what I'm saying? I was going to pull the lock out. <laughs> pull the lock out? Yeah, but it's in the shop right now. I moved with my granny when I was in high school to help her out, help take care of her and stuff, so. That's my grandma, I can't just let her go without. So it's gotta be done. It's just another day, another daily thing. I'm not the type to, to sit back or <clears throat> or wait or pause or be stagnant because you know stuff that's going on. So you gotta have a clear mind. You always gotta stay focused. It's good to stay focused. That's one thing boxing did teach me. How to control my temper and how to stay focused. All my camps be different. Like every camp, uh, my trainer Lorenzo, he takes it up to another level. Look fast. Look fast. Look fast. Right there. I'm starting to think he don't challenge me. I'm starting to think he challenging himself at this point in time. But like what he can do, because he works out with me, so. Last one. Get it, get it, get it. It just be crazy. Like every camp we doing something different. We taking we taking the heights, you know, higher. We're just exceeding the limits and we keep exceeding them. I feel like America should start paying attention to me because I'm the next I'm the next face of the heavyweight division and I feel like um like they should be a part of greatness instead of not being a part of greatness because I'm gonna shock the world and I I can't I'm unbeatable, I'm unstoppable. That's how I feel like a train. 
I feel like I am the best heavyweight, American heavyweight. I feel like I'm the best heavyweight prospect, period. You know, I feel like I could take a lot of those guys out of here. I watch film, I study a lot, and I see a lot of flaws and a lot of a lot of key guys. Like some of these guys are good, but some of these guys have a lot of flaws that I can capitalize on. Yeah, I don't want them too long though, not while I'm boxing. I think I'm gonna get them clipped at my shoulders. I'm just gonna keep them right there because that's a lot of weight on your neck to be having. They still growing and people punching and you gotta <laughs> you gotta worry about the punch and hold the weight up at the same time. Rob, what you think about the fight coming up? What's your name? <laughs> Third round, 33 seconds. Third round, round, 33 seconds. Third round, 33 seconds. Yeah, I've been coming up here for a while. See, they got a poster of me from like 2014, a little frame. They put me up on the wall from Golden Gloves and stuff, so. Yeah, I've been coming here for some years. But it's it's always great to have that support. It makes you feel good, it makes you work harder. Cause you, you're doing it for more than yourself now. You're doing it for other people too. My community supports me. It's a little, it was a little rough here growing up, but you know, like, Every everywhere is rough. Everywhere got rough patches. So we overcome and we we do. I love this community. A lot of people don't don't like Saginaw. A lot of people, you know, they sped up on Saginaw. But I think it's a lot of opportunities here. I think it's I think it's time to promote change. I think we can help a lot of people in the city. So why not? If I can help, why not help? He used to box with us. He used to be on the team. Sad, you know, sad situation. But you know, from what I know, like he was a cool dude. He was always inspirational. He was real cool. He helped out a I lot, not, so I not, I not it's just sad, but that's the life around here, you know. A lot of people, you know, a lot of people get killed and stuff around here. We finna go to my grandma Pat house not too right far. now. It's not too far from the barbershop. It's What's like up, a man? block or two. I got a big family, you know, like my mom, my stepdad, all my cousins. Like I get, I get a lot of love and support. How you doing, brother? I'm blessed by the Lord. You look great, well, boy. Thank you, thank you. My God, look at it. Oh, you? praise God. How you doing? Wonderful, wonderful. I'm so proud of you. You know, we all hit that wall sometimes where we don't want to really want to do nothing or we want to chill out for a while, but they help me keep going. You know, they push me. Lord, we thank you for these young men that have decided to go in a a different direction. Yes. Lord, we're asking you to lead and guide them on their journey. Yes, Lord. Oh God, let them be examples. Let them be mentors for other young men in the community yes. and wherever they may be, oh God. And Lord, we're asking you to look on a special blessing on Jermaine when he goes to Atlantic City to fight. I don't know how to put this like, I, I don't pray for success. If you want success, you go and get it. And I, I, pray to, I pray to God for thanking him for letting me get my success, you know, and able to have the life that I have. And we always pray, like we pray before we fight, you know, we pray in the back and stuff. So a prayer always been a big part. Amen. 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 That was Paul. That was Paul. Hey, hallelujah. To make sure. <laughs> that you come back and do something positive. Do something positive in your community. Do something positive. Growing up, her and her daughter had a, like a, a nonprofit program that I used to attend when I was a child. So they always looked out for kids and they always tried to help as best as they could. So her saying that means a lot because you know I experienced that from her. So I feel like now that I'm in a position to be able to do some of the things that she didn't help me with through life, I, it's, not, it's only fair, you know, that I give back. If you do that for me, I won't ask you for any money out of your winning. <laughs> <laughs> we bread winners, so that's our mentality. We win, be great or be forgotten. And that's what we do. We go in, we collect bodies, and we come out. Good work. Come back, big hook to the up. Build Working the jab, working the right hand, lateral movement, just staying busy. We wanna, we want him to come out fast in this fight. We want him to throw multiple punches. So that, that's what you'll see today. I would say my speed makes me successful. A lot of people think I'm just a slugger because I'm short and stocky. They think like I'm just coming there with power punches, but speed and angles. I could use angles real good. I got nice defense. I barely, I don't get touched a lot and I'm fast.
I can see a lot in there. I can, I can see a lot. I can see, like, after a couple rounds, I know how you move. I can see your steps before you take them, like, depending on how your body's torqued. Yeah, I know a lot about my opponent. I know how he fights. I know what he tries to do. He's never been knocked out professionally because he's never fought me before. The grind don't stop until Rodell drops. View. I'm um, after April 13th. We keep pushing. We we striving to try to get another big fight. See if we can get something bigger.